Alexa, turn on TV room. Okay. So I've got 57 plus 5. So we're at 62. Alexa, turn off TV room. So if you have an Alexa device near you while you're watching this, I suggest you mute the Alexa device. I'll try to just say the A word whenever I think of it. So first thing you want to do is make sure the hue skill is enabled within Alexa. Now a lot of people, if you look on the forums and some of the app reviews right now, are having trouble getting their hue skill to enable within Alexa. So if you go to hue within the Alexa skills, type in hue, and you go to the hue app, you want it to say disable, meaning it's already enabled. If it says enable to use, that means you haven't yet enabled the skill and you need to do so. But here's the problem that a lot of people are having is if you click enable to use, we were unable to link hue at this time. That's what it says. Now, the way to fix that in most cases is to reset your hue bridge. And if you've already removed your hue bridge, you're going to have to reconnect it, and that's just temporary. So I have the Hue Bridge here. Right now, the Hue Bridge is going to be back in the server, you know, the router cabinet, plugged in directly to the router using CAT6. So we're going to go to the router room and temporarily plug in the Hue Bridge and then see if we can re-enable the Alexa Hue skill. So you need to reset the hue bridge and what we're going to do is make sure we don't plug in the ethernet cable yet, we just want power and flip it over and there's a tiny factory reset hole right there. So we need a toothpick. I carry one of these on my keychain. We're going to press and hold for five seconds till the lights change. All right, that should be good enough. So we're waiting for the LEDs to stop blinking. Okay, good. That took longer than expected, but it's reset. So now we're gonna plug in the CAT6 cable that's plugged in to our network switch. So it's going from modem to router to switch. I'll show you. Never mind the mess. This Cat6 follows to there. And we are waiting for the second and third lights to illuminate. Okay, so we have all three lights illuminated for the LED plus the main middle button. What we're going to do now is try the Hue skill with Alexa one more time. Okay, so now that we have the Hue bridge enabled, we have it enabled in the Hue app. We've added it. Let's see if it works now. Still no. Still doesn't work. Let me see. Hold on. It hasn't said it hasn't yet. Let me just. Okay, I'm on the final step. Ah, oh, you are a genius. Thank you so much, Tamara. Okay, uh, so that was it. All right, step five. Now go to the first room and test the lights. And probably not all of them will work. That's fine. So, Alexa, turn off guest room. So you can see that these two lights down here work. Alexa, turn on guest room. 
And it's important to make sure all of the lights are turned on, even if you're not going to use them in that room, because you don't want to be deleting any lights that say not response, you know, device not responding. It'll do that if the switch is off. Okay, so make sure the switch is on. Alexa, turn off guest room. So you can see that one light is working in the guest room. Alexa, turn on guest room. Alexa, turn off guest room. Okay, so none of these work. We have five bad bulbs, one good bulb. So what we're gonna do next. Okay. So we're in the guest room. We only have one that's actually responding. Now you're going to want to identify the serial numbers of each of your bulbs. I recommend that you write them down into a spreadsheet, like I'm using Google Sheets for later reference, so you don't have to get on the ladder if you need to reset the bulbs again. So you can see I have all the rooms and I have all of the serial numbers. There's quite a bit. And I've done this at the time of installation or when I had to get on the ladder and reset the bulb, I wrote it down so I didn't have to get back on the ladder and do it. So what I'm going to do here is start with the guest bedroom, where we are, and I'm going to just start resetting all of them. So once you have all the serial numbers ready, you're going to want to reset each bulb using the Alexa app with the serial number one at a time. Here's how to do it. Go into the Alexa app after you've copied the serial number. Now that I have the serial number, to reset the bulb, I click on the plus sign upper right, click on add device, and then scroll down to light. Then scroll down to Philips Hue under the brand. Then click on the question mark in the upper right. And then when it says my Philips light won't connect, click on that here blue link then double tap and then type in your serial number of the bulb that you wish to reset. And then click enter, click continue, click it's on. So then it's going to reset and then discover. And you'll know if it's working, lights. And if one of them flickers a few times, then you know it's in the process of successfully being reset. So next, grab a Philips Hue dimmer switch, either borrow one or buy one, and hold it up within three feet of the light that you want to reset. You're gonna hold the on and off buttons for 10 seconds until this LED indicator right here turns green. And then you'll see the light flicker and change colors. That's how you know it's being reset using the Hue dimmer switch. This is a trick that I recently discovered and it does work to force the light to reset when it's not resetting on its own. Okay, so make sure the, the lights are on, power's on. And again, I'm gonna hold the on and off button for 10 seconds, so watch. You have to be really close, that's why I have a step ladder here. Okay, so that's what we needed to do. Turn the lights off, turn it back on, and now we have that light reset. Okay, we're gonna do that for the next three. Okay, cool. Discover devices. Starting discovery. This will take a few moments. Power on. I couldn't find any new smart home devices. Alright, so since Alexa didn't find any new lights using the reset and discovery method, we're going to have to use the serial numbers that we recorded on the Google Sheet to do it manually. So we're going to start here. Okay. And we're going to devices, then the plus sign, then add device, then light. Philips Hue used to be one of these popular brands and then Alexa got rid of it. So you can either go to light, then go down to Philips Hue, 
and then click on the question mark and then my Philips light still won't connect what can I do reset your light using a six digit serial number by clicking here double tap and go to continue make sure the lights on it's a good idea to turn off and on the light switch if you haven't done that recently and then if it's working if this process works we'll see one of these lights start flickering and that lets us know it's in the process of being reset okay good that one over in the corner just flickered so hopefully the next screen will be that one device found and connected then we can add it to a group and give it a name and you can also change the name of the light and add it to a group without using the Alexa app simply just by using your voice Oh, four. Aren't we lucky? Perfect. Okay, so it found all four. That is fantastic. And you can see how many lights we have here. 75th light. Yeah, we are pushing that 50 light maximum limit. So what we're going to do is just add these all to an existing group called Guest Room. And then we'll know what lights those are in. It'll be easier to identify those lights and rename them. You'll see. So choose group, guest room. Add to group. 75th. Continue. Click. Set up device. Choose group. Same thing. Guest room. Add to group. Continue. Continue. And then lastly, set up device. Choose group. Guest room. Add to group. Continue, continue, done. All right, so now we have a bunch of lights in our guest room and a bunch of bad ones. So if we go to all off and then all on, we should now see all four of those ceiling lights turn on. Now we have a lot of lights on this network, so it doesn't always respond immediately. Alexa, turn on guest room. Okay, that fixed our problem. Using the dimmer okay. switch, using... All right, now that we have just, I think everything reset and re-added, let's give it a good test. Alexa, turn off guest room. Okay. Alexa, turn on guest room. Okay, so we have four okay. in the ceiling, one by the bed, five, six. Good. Next hallway. Alexa, turn on garage hallway. So seven, eight, nine, ten. Alexa, turn off garage hallway. Okay, we're at 10. Alexa, turn on laundry room. 11, 12. Okay. Alexa, turn on right hallway. Okay. 13, 14, 15. Alexa, turn off family room. Okay. Alexa. Turn on family room floor. Okay. So I think there's 16, 17, 18. Working so far. 18 working so far. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Alexa, turn on breakfast room. Alexa, turn on living room. So we're at 21 plus 4, 25. Okay. And then, so that's 1, 7, 25, 26, 27, 27. Alexa, turn on Moroccan lamps. 21, 
29. Alexa, turn on main hallway. Okay. 29 plus 4, 33. Alexa, turn on dining room floor. Three plus thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six. Alexa, turn off dining room floor. Okay. What are we at? Thirty-six. Alexa, turn on Maria's office. Six, 37, 36 plus 4, 40, 41, 42, this one on the desk is unplugged, 42, Alexa, turn on left hallway, 42 plus 2, 44, Alexa, turn on Mike's hallway, 44 plus 3, 47, Alexa, turn on Mike's office. 47 plus 4, where we are now officially past the 50 bulb limit. We are at 51. Alexa, turn off Mike's office. Okay. Alexa, turn on Alex's hallway. Alexa. Turn on Alex's hallway. Okay. 51 plus 4. Oh, plus 5 down there. So 56. Alexa, turn off Alex's hallway. That one doesn't understand. Alexa, turn off Alex's hallway. Well, okay. Alex sounds like Alexa. What are we at? 57? Alexa, turn on TV room. Okay. So we're at 57 plus 5. So we're at 62. Alexa, turn off TV room. Alexa, turn on master bedroom floor. Two plus three. So we are at 65 Q bulbs, unless I forgot to count some. But we are at 65 Q bulbs. And the way this works is by not using the Hue Bridge. Okay, so Hue Bridge, you need to use to set it up initially just to get Alexa to recognize the hue skill. After that, leave it unplugged. It will mess things up if you use it. So I am going to take it with me. And that's how we got over 60 bulbs to work with Alexa. What works faster than the hue bridge works reliably. You can control the color, the dimming. There's a whole range of colors that it works with. And I have spent months on this figuring how to get it to work philip says it doesn't work alexa says it doesn't work it works i hope this helps it works if you have you know, over 60 lights and several dozen switches alexa turn on all lights watch this It still says that because there's a couple of switches that are probably off. Alexa, turn off all lights. Okay. 